welcome to another episode of Colorful Conversations with Johnny and, and Corey. Corey. We want to say welcome to another show. Thank you for tuning in. Mm -hmm. Connie, Connie, Connie. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you, girl. Let's just get right into the hottest jump, of the hottest jump, side. Jump. Jump. That's why I wrote, wore this. And me, I uh, you're a queen, this. and I'm uh, husband material. Queen of what? That's what well, all right. So, Connie, how do you know you're good in bed or bad in bed? Oh. I really am curious to hear what you have to say about this. Uh, I'll just put it to you all real quick, colorful ones. If you're good in bed, they're gonna keep coming back. That's not true. Uh, 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 who comes back to something that's not good? No, that's true. That you just want to. I mean, come on. Or Something's just, bad. You want bad. Or, you want to keep you're just convenient and easy. Nah, after a while you can find somebody that's good for convenient and easy. Nobody gonna keep coming back if it ain't good. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I think more, majority of people are bad in bed and they think they're good in bed. That's how I feel. Well, I never even thought about whether I was good or bad. Because nobody but, told you. Uh, so you saying somebody's gonna come out and say, oh yeah, you bad. See, that's why I said, how would you know if you bad in bed? Yeah. Nobody would ever tell you. That's a problem. So what should we say about that? Yeah. Should you tell somebody that they weren't good? <laughs> well, see, that's what I want to know. Do you? Well, I've heard people say. Uh -oh. I've heard, some, I've heard like, you know, I had to train him. I said, excuse uh, was me? me? No, I, no, I just heard people say. I had say, to teach a couple of people. That's what I'm saying. That. I've heard that, that quite a bit. I, got, I had to teach. So I'm like, you had to teach? Teach what? Yeah, well, I've known, like, people, some, some gentle men callers <laughs> they don't know how to kiss sloppy tongue all Ooh, i don't like that like, oh slow down who taught you and all fast oh and yeah, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> i don't want that mm -mm. you're right i Ooh. mean but that i mean but did some people aren't yeah. experimental some people are old school they don't like to experiment same position same Missionary. position so I mean, what do what do we consider bad in bed? What do you, would you consider bad in bed for you personally? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, what would be? I mean, just like you said, that sloppy kissing is disgusting. Right, I agree. With and that. I don't yeah. like a bang, 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 bang. No. That's not. Oh, okay. Well, do we have that. to physically show it? I have to so that you all <laughs> okay. understand. Yeah, okay. Colorful so, ones, I want you to really understand. We want to have a grown-up conversation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I think to me, when you're making love, it should be intimate. Uh huh. It should be slow and easy and. Passion. I mean, not always, Connie. It needs I to mean, be a wham, not, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of set. I mean, only if you if you all at the park and you're gonna get it real quick because you were watching. That's, not, that's spontaneous. That's yeah, fun. and then you can bang, bang, bang a little bit, but on the on the most times, I just would like the romance of it all—a little neck kissing, uh, you know, even sometimes a little kiss on the hand. There's so many parts of our bodies that are erogenous. Am I erogenous. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we don't even know about it because we don't explore that. that. See, I like a person, like, I am a doer, meaning I like to be the one to take care of the person. Oh. You, so like, I, you like, I want you to explode first. Uh, no, I you? just want you to relax and let me oh. take over. Oh. Let me do all the work. You just lay back. My pleasure is seeing the other person be pleasured. But see, I've always been in situations where the person wants to pleasure me and I always they would be so confused because I'm like me pleasuring you is pleasuring me. That's beautiful. Now, now that that's beautiful. OK, that's like nice. I get excited when if that when person's you, with that, if their eyes are rolling in the back of their head and, and they moan like, it, right. then I'm like, yes, I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> And you, you feel good about it because you please them. So then, therefore, I guess we, he's answered the question for himself. You're good in bed. I've been told I've been good in bed. So you're good in bed. <laughs> well, see, no. <laughs> but, see, I have, but see, the thing about being bad in bed is that most people don't tell you. Yeah, that's kind of hard. So yeah. I would say the people that are good in bed probably have been told they're good in bed by multiple people. So they have a confidence that they're good and bad, right? But the people that are bad and bad... Have never been told. Been told right. So wait a minute. So possibly, I mean, 
Have we been bad in bed? I don't know. I'm saying. I mean, there are moments. I I, listen, I haven't had any standing ovations. Let's put it that way. So. Oh, I've I mean, had people be like, I mean, I'm not, wow. Oh, like, oh. they've had something to compare to. They had to compare me to somebody. Something. That's something the, or someone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> something. Um, and they were like, wow. I wasn't the bang bang person. I was a, a passionate, affectionate type of um, romance kind of person in bed. Um, and I think that actually was a stimuli for them. But I will say that that also was a negative for me because they fell in love too fast or they thought I was. They fell in lust. Okay. That's not get it. See, that's the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, people always confuse lust, lust for and love. love. Now I can say I can talk about that. For a fact. No, that's what that is. It's so damn good that you think you're in love. Right, but and that's I the only also, thing you got going. I was gonna say something, but I caught. But myself. see, I have a fantasy in my head when I'm sleeping with somebody that I'm not really in a relationship with. Like I go through a whole relationship in my head when they come in. We're just meeting. When they take off their coat, we're kind of getting, we chat. We're dating. When we get our clothes off, now we're dating in love. When we make, we're, we're really having sex. We're really in love. And then when it's over, when they get dressed, we're getting a divorce. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that is wonderful. As I was just getting ready to say, do you know there's a lot of marriages that are based on lust? Mm -hmm. People have married just for lust alone. Why? Then after a couple of years, you'd be like, what? what? Shit, mm -hmm. no. So, see, but do you think that some people are bad in bed because they were taught incorrectly? Well, I mean, does somebody actually say, I've heard people say that they have had lessons. Now, me, myself, I've never had any lessons. I well, had nobody sit down and say, well, this is how you do this. This is how you do that. No, I mean, the only lesson that parents generally give you is the birds and the bees. But do you think that, okay, so now we're talking about good... Not how to get on your knees. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 God. <laughs> Sorry. Did you just say that? I was uh, rapping. Uh, I'm rapping. Uh, so, you know what? I just realized, too, people learn how to have sex through porn, and that's why I think a lot of people are bad in bed. Oh, well, I, I can't say I've done anything from porn. No, I haven't. I wouldn't take any lessons from porn. I, I mean, think I gay men, that's how they learn from, oh. and they learn sex. Does that mean sex education in school? We didn't learn. No, about, they didn't tell you how yeah, to do yeah, uh -huh. Two men, uh -huh. how to prep for sex for right, two men right, right. or whatever. And, and is there prepping for sex with two men? Okay, now we don't really. Oh, I'm sorry, but I mean, we want to yes, know. Yes. Yes. Colorful ones want to know. Yes. What right. I mean, is there really prepping? Yes. If you want to do. If you're having anal sex, you uh -huh. have to really prep yourself. You don't, they don't use Vaseline, do they? No, they have hoses for the bathroom to clean you out. Oh, now that sounds good and kind of safe in a way. No, just refreshing, yeah. I and would it's say. It's not an enema, don't get me wrong. No, they have hoses. That are made mean, just for, for that. that. Mm. Uh, but women use it that too. Getting. But women use it for vagina to yeah, clean, clean that out, out too. too. Mm -hmm. But it's the same thing. And there's a you know. Oh, like a dish bag. It's like Back a dish bag. Right. 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 Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. But they've made them more sophisticated. <laughs> right. And then they have long loads. It is 2022. I think there's one in the closet, but not for me, but oh. for other people. Mm. But anyway, I don't know. So anyway. Uh, you know what, but no, they have a different side, and that's actually to clean out, make well, sure you're clean. Well, I think that's a good thing to do, to stuff, freshen up. Yeah. Freshen up. Then you have like a marathon sex. I mean, Right, that's what it is. And then people, certain gay men have said that they stop eating at a certain time. Mm -hmm. They take ammonium. It's a whole process. Oh, my goodness, that's a lot. Oh, that makes me want to scratch. Oh, that was... <laughs> <laughs> we ain't like, talking about crabs, Bobby. <laughs> Come on now. No, no. But I'm just saying, really. But the, yeah, but I think a lot of people who watch porn, mm. the element of sex, that's not real. So, I mean, it's I mean, it's a performance. Of course, of course. But I think people try to mimic that as seeing it as good sex. No, I don't think you should mimic because you want to enjoy yourself. The good sex is enjoying yourself. After you're done, you. Here's, oh, this is how you know you had good sex. Okay. After you finish, you both fall asleep. 
That's a job well done. Really? Come on. Yes, that might yes. mean that that was boring as fuck. Excuse no, me. No, no. That was boring as hell, and no. I just want to go to sleep. No, no, no. That doesn't mean that. Take it from me, for once. If, in fact, you've had, you know, sex, intimacy, and both of you have passed out, that means the sex was good. Okay, now what if one of you wants to pass out and the other one doesn't? Somebody was bad. No, no. <laughs> Don't listen to him. That's not, <laughs> no. Maybe the other one got more energy. But the, 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 you know, you ever heard that expression just like the movie said, you got served. Oh. Okay. okay. So that's what happens. I mean, generally, because, you know, it's not that you're totally passed out, but you become very relaxed. I mean, you okay. know, when okay. you had that ultimate release or whatever, it's like, oh, wee. And you just want to, oh. You just want to just, it's in a, an, a, like an ecstasy moment. Yes. Exactly. No. And that's when you know it was good. Do you think in your lifetime, I mean, this might be a little personal, but in your lifetime, have you had more good sex or bad sex? Well, I, I have to say good. I would say mine is probably 50-50, but I would say because I'm good and I like it a certain way, I was with someone who wasn't compatible with me, mm -hmm. who just wasn't able to relax, let me be in control. Well, see, that seems to be the ultimate thing for you. You got to be in control. <laughs> What's that all about? What's with this control, control, control? I think for I, I you, do. the reason why you're only 50-50 is you need to relax. Let's I don't say, relax. Let's yeah. say, well, for you, let yeah, me, I don't relax. Now, let me just give him a little lesson. In order for you to have good sex, you need to relax. Let someone make love to you. You don't always have to be the one making love to them. Take this. Listen, we're going to. That is true. Is, I you ever heard this said to be continued? So yeah, now okay. we want you, and I'm sure the colorful ones do, we want you to let someone else take control. Let them make love to you. And then come back and let us know what happened. See, and I, I don't know, know what it is. I know. know. I really want to know too, because I don't even know what that looks like. You got to try it. You'll never know until you try it. Because I'm saying that. I, I don't, you know, and I don't want to mislead people um, out here because I hate if, if there's a woman and a guy, you know, two gays, who's the woman? And that, that's not how that works. Oh, but how I, does it work? I'm sorry. Sorry. They are there are positions. There's a top and there's a bottom. They're mm -hmm. in dominant positions, just like there are women who are more um, alpha then and some men are not some of men are very those are cowgirls that's what you call cowgirls what i ain't never heard of that yeah honey they ride they cowgirls ooh, ooh. Ooh, wow see oh, i'm sorry i didn't mean to be so i know happy. showing all the action and everything right now but what i'm saying is that and men like that right and i like i'm a more dominant role in bed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well i'm sure there's a lot of women that are dominant in bed as well like i said you know because they all you know they're riders, and um, and men tend to like that. So I'm not I mean, saying, but that, all men, but, you but I'm saying that my role as being a more dominant in bed, that's what pleases me. So someone making love to me is actually letting me take over their body because I feel like I'm skilled and I'm going to give them an. Ooh. I'm going to give them the an experience. Like, I always say, sex with me is an experience. Oh, well, excuse me, everyone. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, yeah, take a I number. <laughs> <laughs> take a number, you guys don't out there. My, don't be in my DM. <laughs> no, but no, I feel like I'm somebody who is, I, my, pleasuring someone is something that I like to do. And I, somebody trying to pleasure me is not exciting. Well, you don't know because you're not giving it a chance. You've got to give it a chance in I order to know. I have had, I mean. I'm, to be continued. You. Yeah, well, I I have to, we have to think about. I have to really seriously. I mean, I to experience other things and and life to be able to say, "Oh my goodness, I was made love to it." Ultimately, it was fabulous. See, most guys You've that I have to, ever you know, been with want to dominate, dominate me versus make love. Well, you can say something. I mean, don't be shy when you're in bed. Speak up. Oh, well, you know, well, yeah, I guess that. But see, this is where the bad and the good is, is that when it's uncomfortable telling somebody that mm, this ain't working for me. You know, I will say that pounding thing that you were talking about, most people will tell you, don't do that. No, don't. If they're not into it. Yeah, I'd be at the doctor's office after some, that. But some people like that pounding stuff. And I feel like, damn, I'm at, but, but see, I don't like it because I feel like I've had a gym workout. Yes. 
I'm like, God damn, I can hardly breathe, be huffing and puffing. Oh, no, that's too much. Uh, no, but maybe I might lose some weight, though, that way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know but what? yeah. Sex is an exercise. It is. They say it is an exercise. Yeah. And it also, here's, uh, I don't want anybody to quote me or go to your doctor's office and said Connie said. But I think it lowers the blood pressure. It does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. And I just, I don't like passive people in bed. I think they, to me, are bad in bed. When they're passive. Now, what yeah, I yeah, say. Yeah, people hate when somebody just lay, lay there. there. Oh, no, 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 no. How about making noise in bed? Some people fake that shit. They're well, see, that's the they other. They ain't trying to make that. And you know, that's a lot well, of energy. See, but, see, but, 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 see, this is why most people think they're good in bed. Oh, they think they, that's, that's why. Oh, that, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And they don't really mean oh, it. Oh, you're right. And that gives a person the thing, the illusion. That they're uh, that, good. That but, good. But the person just doing it to make you feel, feel good. good. Right. Mm, that's a thought. So you're not a noise maker, I gather. I'm a very noise maker. But see, I, <laughs> I am, I perform better if the person is making noise because it's engaged to me. I'm also a person that pays attention. I pay attention to somebody who, if they go like this, I know, don't do that again. Yeah, because it's the, they're not comfortable with I, it. Right? I think most people who are bad in bed don't pay attention to their partner. That's true, and you really should that pay attention There's nonverbal communication in sex, and I think that, honestly, the people that are bad in bed can't pick up those social clues. Cause yeah, sometimes your partner be like, push it, booty, push it, baby, push it, baby, daddy, ha, ha, da, da. all of these things. I'm no, I'm, I'm getting confused, but yeah, all this kind of stuff you'll kind of know because they're egging you on. on, right? Or somebody might be like, harder, harder, and I'm like, mother. Excuse me, but wait, I can't give it to you no harder than it is. Like, you want to go to the emergency room? Right, or well, I feel like... Sex I, brought me to the ER. <laughs> like, I want to feel it too. Like, I want to feel, like, yeah. sensations and stuff. Mm -hmm. You doing this, boom, boom, boom. What sensation do you feel? No, don't it's, do that. No, don't do that. You'll be in the emergency room. Don't right. do that. Right, and that's not fun to me. No, it's not. It's like a discovery. Well, I think all that's to say is be very open-minded. Uh, with your partners uh, <laughs> that you're with, if there's something you want to try, tell them. Mm -hmm. Something you don't like, tell them. Okay. And I think that would bring on a better relationship sure. in the bedroom or wherever you're doing it. The club now, what if these people are not, they're single, but they're not dating, but they're randomly sleeping with people, you know, no one's really going to tell them they're bad in bed. Because they may not see them again. Right, exactly. That's the point. And that's what I think most people feel like. That's why I feel like I will change it. I think I've had more bad sex because I've met people randomly. Mm -hmm. Then because something I'm not to in work a relationship on. to work right. on. That they And they probably thought it was the best thing in the world. And I have been amazed sometimes when they believe, if they've left. I'd be like, that was the fuck worst thing in the world <laughs> i'd be like that was the worst thing in the world and then they're just like oh my god that was so good and i'm like okay <laughs> really Ooh, that's bad yeah uh -huh. so i know i mean so i really don't know if there's a, a answer to where if you know you're good and better not i mean obviously we did say i did say that yes if you have been told repeatedly i don't even think it has to be with the same person but if you are constantly told I've been told I am very passionate. Wow, I've never been with someone like you. I've heard that a lot. Mm -hmm, I can say I'm mm -hmm, good in bed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, for the other folks that have left here, I will say I've lied and said I was good. You didn't want to hurt their feelings. I didn't want to hurt their feelings. Well, just like you said, most likely you're not going to do it with them again because it was bad. Yeah, but what if you like them and it's bad before we then, wrap then up? Then work on it. Then work on it. That's what I have to say. At if you one like point them in a relationship, bed, okay. Work so before we wrap up, when it point, let's say you meet them, a hookup, whatever you've been chatting for, maybe a month or so, you have sex, it was not that great. When in the relationship do you think it's appropriate to tell somebody that they're not, mm, this, I like you, I want this to wear, but the sex isn't that great? But when, if you feel like you want to keep seeing them? So you said you've been seeing them for a couple of months. You've had sex off and on, and it's just not good. But if you want to keep having sex with them or keep this relationship going, I think you should discuss it with them. Okay, so let's say you had sex with them once. It was semi-okay. Second time, it was bad. Third time, it was semi-okay. 
but you know it's not that great. Then three times is enough. Speak three, up. Speak up. Okay. Yeah, speak up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Well, everyone. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted too. Oh, stop. I, I, I need, you a, were, I need a cigarette. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hey. That was a hot, hot time, man. Ooh, Ooh. well, thanks for your honesty on that. That's right. Well, anyway, everybody, you know, whether you're good in bed or bad in bed, just do your best. That's and right. if, you know, don't set out to hurt anyone's feelings. But be honest. Be honest. And because if you really, like, want to work it out, don't lose a good thing. Because, yeah, because of one of sex, thing, that's because right. Because yeah. it's like relationships are more than just. Yeah, sex. they're not just based on sex. So mm -hmm. we're just having some fun. Fun, but, but, but you know. yeah, but you know, um, I personally don't think you can learn sex, good sex through porn. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can have a debate about that, but mm -hmm. um, I don't think. I think because it misses the emotional part, mm -hmm. it doesn't. It doesn't show the affection it mm -hmm. doesn't show um security and honesty and right. just vulnerability that goes with being in sex right. you know because you all on porn is all these beautiful bodies right you know you have to be comfortable in your skin taking off your clothes mm -hmm. in front of body having right. sex with the lights on or with the lights exactly. off exactly. Um, things of that nature so anyway everybody again we want to say thank you for tuning in to another episode of colorful conversations with connie and, and corey Remember to like, subscribe, comment. We put our email address in the description. So if you have a topic that you would like us to discuss, go ahead and email us. We don't mind. And anyway, to our colorful ones, we have a model that we want you to stand by. And that is it's Connie. Only... Live colorfully. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. See you soon. Bye, colorful ones.